this is Jim Gibson with Cablesupply.com. Thank you for coming to my channel today. Very much appreciated. And today we're going to be looking at the small little five port switch, gigabit switch uh, that has power over Ethernet and everything else. And it's amazing that they're so inexpensive these days compared to other power over Ethernet switches. Um, and even small ones in the past have been very, very expensive. And we're going to talk a little bit about PoE. We're going to talk about, in particular, this little switch and some of its applications. Hey, let's talk about the applications right now. Um, I see at least three applications for this, okay? So if you're an installer, you really should have one of these that you, you, know, you have in your truck. If, so if you're going out, you're doing cabling, things like that, you're talking to IT people, uh, you're programming, you know, some of their systems, things like that. You're a Microsoft person. Um, this is a fantastic switch. It's it's gigabit, so you're not. It's not going to slow you down. And on top of that, it's PoE, and we'll talk about PoE later. So you should have this as a troubleshooting item in your possession, in your car, or in your truck, whatever you use to go out to a customer location. And secondly, if you're the IT guy at a business, you should have these switches you need a couple of them in my opinion uh, and they need to be in stock ready to go whenever you have an application it gives you a lot more flexibility if you have a small switch with you especially poe and gigabit it gives you a lot of flexibility you know you can ad hoc add um, you know uh, uh, laptops or whatever else you have so let's say if you have a, a bunch of people getting together and um, you know, they're going to have a study group or something, and they all have laptops, and yeah, you can use Wi-Fi, but if you want a little more uh, speed, you want to, you know, uh, put them together, or if they have uh, IP phones uh, that may be close by, things like that, um, you can connect them all using the small little switch. So you should always have a, a one or two of these in your possession that gives you a little more flexibility. They're not that expensive, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, to have that flexibility and it may come in handy at the last moment when you really need that flexibility something comes up and lastly and this is where i use a lot of these little things is i use them in my home entertainment center so i have you know a tv at my in in my uh living room i got a tv in my bedroom and uh, um, now you call them tvs but they're actually monitors 65 inch uh, monitors they're beautiful they work really well everything else and we'll talk about that in another video, how I set it up. But basically, I take my old laptops and I connect them to one of these switches. Then I take that monitor and I connect it to the switch. Then I take my DVD player and connect it to the switch. Um, so I have all my equipment uh, in that one area uh, attached to this switch. And, of course, the switch is plugged into the only one outlet I have in the wall. So I'm able to expand that outlet out to multiple devices that I use in my entertainment center that needs Internet access. So that's the third application. And, again, we're not talking about, you know, a switch that's costing $12,000, $15,000. Some of the switches from Cisco are very pricey, and they have to be programmed, things like that. This, you just plug it in, you go with it. It works really great. It's fantastic. It gives you everything you need. Now, I'm just going, let's go, start looking at the switch and some of the advantages. Well, let's look at the box also, some of the things it has. Uh, so it has, here we go. On the back, it just plainly says, you know, IP camera, IP phone, access point, laptop. It goes on and on and on, um, uh, some of the things it does. You know, attaches to the router. Uh, so you can attach this to your router it's 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 really handy but here it is now the things i like about this okay is first of all there's no fan uh, in it so you don't have to troubleshoot a fan it just has uh, breathing holes in it and then stuff like that and then on top of that it has a different ports here now they recommend you use port 5 i don't see why you would care about what port it is but you have port 5 um, that you can uh, plug into your router. So, you know, you get the router from Cox, from whoever you got routing services from. <laughs> they send you a router. And uh, so you plug this into your router, uh, and then you got your other four ports that are uh, PoE. So let's talk a little bit about PoE, power over Ethernet. Now, I have a video that explains the details about power over Ethernet. 
and you know something, um, you probably need to watch that uh, to understand the, the difference between a regular uh, switch that doesn't have PoE and this switch, this little switch, man, this like does a lot, um, which has power over Ethernet. Now, power over Ethernet can, can power up uh, access points. Um, you know, years ago, when I was putting access points in in the ceiling, um, I would have to get the electrician to run a 110 circuit to it, and then I'd have a little brick, and I would plug that in, uh, you know, to the, uh, to the Wi-Fi uh, unit, and, and then, you know, then I would plug in my, my Ethernet cable. Now, PoE comes right over the Ethernet uh, cable. So you can plug in an Ethernet cable, just plug it in, and the power goes to the other end, and it powers up the device. And I'm going to be demonstrating that a little later in the, uh, the video here, how it does that. <coughs> but that is, by itself, it's worth a lot of things. And, of course, watch the video on PoE, and I explain about how to manage PoE and on bigger switches, actually, not on something this size. But it can provide up to a certain wattage uh, power to each device. So you got to look at the wattage of the uh, device you, you're, you plan plugging into this. Uh, if you just plug in one or two devices, you're probably okay. But you can't get, you know, uh, like four major Cisco phones that pull you know, uh, a, a lot of wattage uh, to work on this. We're not talking about that. Does a lot, and you got to do a little bit of research if you're going to use it big time. But this works really well uh, with my TV. It works a uh, monitor, uh, monitor, <laughs> big monitor, 65 inch. Um, my old, you know, my laptop powers, you know, gets information from my laptop. I, I do everything online on my monitor, so I'll watch YouTube, stuff like that. And uh, I'm going to show you a little later on in another video how I do that because that might save you some effort. And you'll see how easy it is to do that for an entertainment center. And I'm not the people that, I'm not the person that puts in entertainment centers these days. I just, I'm an IT guy. Uh, but this nice little system it has holes here, it lets out the air, there's no fan running. I hate those ones where the fan is really loud and you're using it for private in house use and you can hear the fan going all the time. Zzzz. Just drives me nuts. So I like the fanless type of switches. And this is all I need for my home. And this is all I need to troubleshoot. And it might be if you're an IT guy, if you're running ad hoc groups or stuff like that, this gives you flexibility. And it's a good company. TP Link is a, a really good company. And you'll get some really good service out of this. And it should last you many, many years. I have not had any problems with, this, with these products. They've, none of them have failed me. So they're really good products, and you can see the model number there. And uh, you have uh, PoE um, uh, devices there. It shows you if it's powered up, and it's also going to show you some. So looking at this switch in detail, you got two LEDs on the four ports that are PoE possible. This again goes to the router. Uh, these four can go to your PoE devices. And so if you look at them, if it's green. Uh, on the left, and right now it looks clear, uh, but it does turn green. Uh, then you have a um, you know a, a gigabit uh, connection. Um, if it's yellow, then you're going to have a 10 base T, 100 base T uh, connection, and it's going to flash when it's transmitting data. Now on the right, what you have is you have your PoE. It flashes if there is an overload, um, but if you use PoE, it's going to be on. So that's what it looks like. Um, it comes with a pretty hefty power supply. And you're going to have this power supply being hefty like this. And the reason why is because it has to power up devices. So it's going to need a significant power supply to power up uh, uh, the PoE devices. And then, of course, you know, power cord. Now, one of the things I do with my power cord, let me get this arrowed away. One of the things I do is I use a Velcro around it. And these Velcros are really cool because you can actually run your tab through here. I'm going to show you. I should have been doing this anyway. So I'm going to take this tab here and I'm going to run it through. I, there you go. So I'm going to run it through. And when I run it through, I just tighten it down. Now I'll never lose my Velcro um, 
connector. And this is great because remember, remember, I'm using this out in the field uh, when I'm at a customer's location and we're trying to test something. And so, you know, the Velcro really holds it together. And of course, if you're using it somewhere and you don't, you got a lot of extra cord, you, you know, have a little Velcro wrap around it and it really works well. And it has a tab here. I don't know if you can see it sticks out. And so you just undo it and then you extend your your cord here. So while we are talking about these things, uh, I'm going to start hooking this up and uh, I'm going to demonstrate some things. Now I have it plugged in and one of the first things you notice is it does show that it has power. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook up a Wi-Fi uh, device that I have from D-Link another fine company um, so we're going to connect these I always like these thin patch cords they're called slim patch cords we sell them on our website and uh, and, and in fact what I'll do is I, I'll put a link down below on uh, Amazon link so if you're interested in buying this you're going to be able to uh, purchase it so it not only shows that it's connected of course it's not going to transmit any data so you're not going to be seeing flashing here um, make me a liar uh, but it is uh, connected and over to the right is PoE so it's showing that it's producing PoE now to show you the PoE is on this on this D-Link uh, Wi-Fi there is your your green power so that's what you have here and it's actually powered up only by the switch as you can see so these things, you know, these D-Links, they come with a power supply. You can plug them right in there, and uh, you're going to get power. So if you don't have power over Ethernet, you can plug in a power supply there. But in this case, uh, this thing, if I could find, no, there it is, uh, is powered solely by this, uh, this little switch, and it works really well. And um, so that's basically it. It's a, it's a steel case. I like that. I love these little slim patch cords, by the way. They're so flexible and easy to work with. Um, so it's, it's a nice case. It's heavy duty. has little feet on it, so it's not going to scratch up a desktop, things like that. And it's metal, and I love that uh, little metal. It has a decent-sized power uh, brick with it that can power up all your devices. And I appreciate your time watching the video. If you liked it, I mean, if it's practical and it works for you and you've learned something, please give me a thumbs up. Also subscribe. I need subscribers. So please subscribe. Thank you for watching the video. Very much appreciate you. Have a great day.